In this video, we're going to be working with runtime check errors. Inside of the app.module file, we generated this in video 9 when we created our store. And what this does is it throws off errors. It's like middleware. It checks our code to see if we're violating any of the core concepts of NGRX and Redux. If we use these runtime check errors, we set them to true and we violate them, we'll see an error within the console. So let's do that. Let's throw off some errors and I'll show you how to fix some of these runtime check errors. In this example, if you change the state directly, you will get back an error. We'll violate that rule. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So when we log in successfully, I'm going to change the state directly. You would never want to do this in production. So I'll call the state user and I'll set it to whatever we're getting back from the action. And that'd be user. And then we'll return the state like that. And then I'll comment this section out right here. Now this is a clear violation, so let's save this and see the error in the browser. And my browser automatically refreshed, and this is the error I'm getting in the console. So when you violate that rule, when you change the state directly, you'll see this in the console. Let's add in a couple more runtime checks. Let's add two more runtime checks. I'll add them on the bottom here. And this checks to see if our state is serializable and also our action. And what that means is, let's say, for example, you try to pass in a new instance of a class in here. Well, you can't pass in functions, and inside of a new instance of a class, you'll have functions. Uh, for example, if we comment this out right here, and I'm going to uh, replace this, but I'm going to create a new class right here. We're going to be deleting this class in a second. And here's our new class, and in this class, we have a function. It returns the username. Well, this function is not serializable. So if we try to pass a new instance of this class, we're going to get an error for this. And if we go inside of here, reset the user. And that's going to be a new user C. And I'll make sure I add on a comma. Save this. And then we'll go up here and make sure we're not getting an error for this. So I'm going to uncomment this and then remove this. And let's check this out in our browser. Make sure you restart the application because we made some changes to our app module. So I'll open up the command line. npm run dev. Now when we click on the logout button, we should get a error. So when you see errors like this, it means you're trying to pass something in that's not serializable, like a function or something like that. Keep in mind your store likes just plain clean objects. When you're dealing with a store, just try to pass in just plain objects and that's it. There's two more runtime checks I'd like to show you. Let's add them within our app module. We'll add our final two runtime checks. And the first one here is called strict actions within ng zone. So if you're trying to dispatch an action outside of the scope of Angular, you'll get an error for that and that will be coming from this. Then this one right here, if you name two actions the same name type, you'll get an error for that as well. And I'll actually show you this. This is my personal favorite. This one helps me out all the time because I find myself naming actions all the time the same name by accident. If we go into our auth actions, and I'll copy this one right here, the logout. And I'll change the name to test. I'll remove this in a second. We're going to get an error from this one right here. And the reason is, is the type right here matches this one. You'll get an error for that. Let's run the application again. And I'll go into the reducers and we'll clean this up so we're not getting error for this anymore. And I'll remove this and reinstate this. Make sure you save all your files. Also, the app module, I'll save this file. And we need to restart the application because we edited our app module. So I'll open up the command line, shut everything down. Run npm run dev. Here we're getting the white screen of death and it even lets us know what runtime check error we got and even tells you right here the action that we're having the issue with. And that's pretty much it for our runtime checks. They're very useful. I highly recommend using them. Let's make sure we got our application up and running. If we go back here and go inside of the actions and I'm going to remove this now so we don't get that error anymore. Save it. The application should automatically restart. And great, everything is working just fine.
In the next video, we're going to install another library. It's going to be for our router, and we'll set that up next.